Hello, this is Perky Mama, and I received an ebook called Optimal Exposure for free in exchange for an honest review that I really enjoyed. This book is written by Dan Rowell, which I found to be an interesting guy. He's a senior scientist who works for the Israeli defense industry and also has traveled around the world as a photographer. This book is a murder mystery and is based on many of the author's experiences in life and where he has been. I love learning about different cultures and countries, so this book caught my attention right off. You will find yourself immersed in Kambabela, India, at an Indian festival that I had never heard of, but now I'm very curious to see it taking place. The author starts with an introduction about how he writes his books, which drew me in immediately because I felt like I got to know him and relate to what he was writing. I also really enjoy reading murder mystery, whodunit stories, and thought it was very well written and captivating. At first I wasn't sure if I liked the style that the story was written in, but warmed up to it within a chapter or two. I also found it a little difficult to pronounce the names of characters and places because I am not very familiar with Israeli culture. It would have been great if the author could have written up a page with pronunciations. Finally got comfortable though with my own way of pronouncing them. The storyline caught my attention right off and I immediately tried to start putting clues together and making guesses at who did it, but I wasn't able to figure it out until the end, which means that it was very well thought out. You will meet a whole team of photographers photographers, excuse me, who work together and go on expeditions. But when something happens to two of their members, an investigation begins. Don't want to say too much more or I may give it away. <laughs> it is a pleasurable read and would recommend this book to anyone who likes to solve a mystery. You can sit down and read through it easily and find out at the end what happens. Or you can really dive deep into the clues and try to solve the problem yourself. Thank you.